okay so these are the things that we need to remember about to give our wealth to these people okay just to extract ourselves from this Quran first okay just for your information inshallah what we are collect what we are doing in steps to Allah within these few weeks is to help these orphans orphanage in Gaza okay we told you already that we are helping because some of these orphan orphanage have been destroyed by the Israel we are helping these people secondly as some secondly is that as some of you have visited some the, the the sister whose daughter is in hospital yeah uh, the story goes on like this they were they are malaysians yeah they were they came to this country as tourists with allah's will yeah the the daughter who is 12 years old is in coma she had a fever and somehow other with allah's will she is still in coma after two three weeks now the they have been the daily cost of the hospital as i was informed was 2500 pounds a day because they are tourists yeah and they are is what we are called here the wayfarer these are the travelers who may need our help yeah uh, according to the mother okay you if, if some of you were in hospital you would know that the mother's face is so um peaceful he's so he 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 was accepting Allah's will yeah the daughter who was 12 who is 12 years old now when she was eight years old she has already completed reciting the Quran in Arabic and she was eight and every year she finished keep reciting the Quran that's why Alhamdulillah I think the mother knows that she has done her best anyway Islamically for the daughter and Allah you see it doesn't mean that it, it doesn't mean that you are a righteous person that Allah will not test you at all that doesn't mean that yet the more righteous you are the more Allah will test us so the next group of people we are going to collect is for these people today yeah because they are the wayfarer let us put whatever things we learn in the Quran to practice yeah because it's no point they read the Quran day and night Ramadan patam the Quran every for three four times and yet you don't even practice whatever you we read in the Quran okay so inshallah for today the the box that is blue is for the box of the Gaza the one that is for the um, girl and the family is a box in brown inshallah okay so please give generously to these people and inshallah Allah will reward us for all our effort okay so it is how we as a group in steps of Allah we don't just recite 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 come here two weeks and we learn nothing Quran is meant to be practiced so when people need help we we, we, we need help according to what I know they have the the family has been asking around for help so we please help to uh, raise some money for these people inshallah okay let's come back to the surah number one uh, two verse number 177 okay we talk about belief and we talk about giving wealth in spite of love for it the next one is for Aqimis Salah which is Salah okay which is prayers okay now prayers is not just standing and praying five times a day okay Aqimis Salah is everything about the prayers about having full submission to Allah trying to do prayers on time trying to do in congregation for the brothers trying to do in the mosque this is called the Aqimis Salah okay it's not just standing prayers at home and doing because some people are not even doing five times a day it is for a person who thinks that he is uh, Albir a person who is righteous inshallah the first the, the, the third thing that is in the criteria is Salah in full that means Aqim is Salah which means everything that is in the Quran and the Sunnah trying to do it in congregations trying to have full submission to Allah when he does it inshallah yeah now the next one is Zakah as you know need not explain it in detail because everybody knows what is Zakah okay the next one is those who fulfill their covenant when they make it the promises 
when you promise that you're coming to steps of Allah and then you don't do it this is part of a covenant isn't it true it is a promise that yes I'm going to come subhanallah I'm going to meet you in the Regent's Park Mosque but you don't come no calls or nothing this is part of the promises okay remember the opposite of this characteristic is munafiq or hypocrisy what are the characteristics of hypocrisy the signs of hypocrite are three according to hadith by muslim if he speaks he lies if he promises he breaks his promise and he if he is entrusted he breaches the trust and in another version if he speaks he lies if he vows he breaks his vow and if he disputes he is lewd or very vulgar yeah so this is one of the signs of hypocrisy so let us not fall into this trap okay now the next one is and who are patient in extreme poverty and ailment yeah because patience is something which all of us is difficult to achieve yep it is easy to advise somebody oh you know your daughter is in the hospital be patient Allah will always be with you but for a person who experiencing it is very difficult yeah so patience is uh, as you know from what Allah said in the Quran in Allah Allah is always with the patient it is a virtuous so virtue is this character of patience that a person on the day of judgment a person with patience would be able to enter the Jannah the gates of paradise without any reckoning there would be a caller that will call out on the day of judgment where are those people with patience where are those people and a group of people would immediately rush to the gate of paradise the keeper of the gates will ask these people who are you people we are those people who are who are patients. Therefore, open the gate for us, and they will be allowed to enter without any reckoning. Okay, so patience is one of the greatest virtues, and we will go through it in detail in another uh, few weeks, inshallah, because it is important to um, emphasize about this, especially with the power of our mouth. Yeah, because in in uh, Ramadan a lot of people are not able to control the mouth anything that happens a lot of complaints a lot of backbiting a lot of unhappiness with people when in actual fact all of this may invalidate your fasting okay we will go into great detail inshallah in the future the next one those who are uh, albir are uh, at the time of fighting yeah, during the battles okay those of the people who were involved in fighting last time they were the one and because it's easy to read and you know oh yes you know if i were to be in those times of course i would be in the battle of course i would want to die as a shaheed but if we were to be um, involved right in the thick of the action we may not do it we do not know that is easy for us to command and oh of course prophet muhammad is there anyway you know but we do not know okay so the sign of albir are those people who are involved in battles okay what are the reward of these such are the people of the truth and they are the mutaqun okay now i'm going to reflect over this last part of the um verse the truthful people and the mutaqun okay now who are the truthful people turn to surah number nine verse number one one nine Truth, truthful is this is part of the Ramadan preparation yeah because um, many of us think that we know what is truthful but we may not be Allah said it in the Quran surah number 9 verse number 119 yeah oh you who believe have fear of God and be among the truthful so truthful is not just a matter of not lying in the speech it covers everything your action your intention uh, how you behave to other people your uprightness in fact one of the greatest callers uh, called ibn al-qaib al jawziya stated clearly i'm going to read to you his a very good um phrase that he used about truthfulness yeah 